What is up, my little legends? Welcome to part five of Prognostic. We are continuing the spook fest. It is terrifying. That last one had so many spooks. So party killer. That is what this one is called. All right. I couldn't understand all these terms and formulas from her letters, so I asked a local professor for help. It turns out that in his youth, he studied with our old woman at the university. She had a science degree, who would have thought? Unfortunately, this gentleman's family suffer, suffered a tragedy. His granddaughter was killed. She and her fellow students threw a three-day party at 6 Barnhill Street, and after walking away from the hangover, they found her already cold body. Uh-oh. The murder took place on October 1904, but we don't but we do not know the exact day. I saw how our grandmother was able to establish a connection between the killer and the victim using tarot cards. If you re repeat this ritual and find the killer, the professor will help us with the letters. Okay, send the killer's dossier, yeah, mark and send where he was at the hour of the murder. Okay. Send the results of the victim's tarot reading. Okay. So they know the the murder took place in October of 1904, but they don't know the exact day. So we also know it was at 6 Barnhill Street. It's just now we have to find out the exact murder date, time, 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 with the tarot cards. Okay. All right. I can do this. So tarot cards will reveal the connection between the victim and his killer. They are located on the second floor. <gasps> We're going upstairs. Oh my gosh. I don't want to. Like at all. Oh no. Okay. I still can't go down there, hey? Oh goodness me. It's so dark. And there's another mirror. Oh. Let's get this bad boy lit. Oh, I am so angry now. Okay. Oh, okay, it turns out we actually do not need to... Oh, like a little hamster cage. We don't need to take out our lighter to light the candles. Okay, here it is. Here's the tarot room. But we, I mean, we have other stuff, but... Yeah, creepy noises. I want to light this area up, you know, because it's very dark and scary. <gasps> we have a clock telling us like the time. I know I should be rushing, but I oh, there's another mirror. Are you kidding? Oh, there's two. There's four of them now. Oh gosh. Okay. All right. Cool. 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 Ugh. All right, let's do this. Here we are in the tarot room. Is there anywhere else to light up? I don't think so. So let's get this started. <sighs> this tarot card reading will help find out the connection between the victim and the killer. Make sure the ritual candle is lit. Put the victim dossier on the stand. So, okay, victim dossier on the stand, done. Oh, we didn't read the things. Ah, we're always forgetting to do that. And by we, I mean me. So we got Rebecca Dean. She was a student. She came to her sister's birthday party. The guest she thought she had left, oh, the guest thought she had left early, but three days later, her body was found in the basement with a stab wound. Too many knife killings have been happening in this town recently. Selena Dean, it must be a sister, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, and then we have Jacob Dean, Alan Leary, and Victor. Okay, so Selena Dean. I barely managed to get her to talk the girl was heartbroken she adored her sister and guess what you have something in common she is fond of fortune fortune telling oh okay and then we have jacob dean he was a brother of the victim and lived with her he claims he left the party on the first day other witnesses cannot confirm this okay so we got the siblings we got alan leary mm, the fiance of selena dean they're 16 and we don't know how old she is. She's dead. Okay, that's weird. Anyways, he was a brother. Or no, no, what? Wrong one. The fiance of Selena Dean. He was the one who found the body. The guy was clearly shocked. In like 1800s, were they, uh, in the 19, were they getting married at that 
Young age, that's weird. <laughs> the victim's neighbor. Their families are in strained relations because of the ongoing dispute over the land borders. He himself claims that he has no problem with Rebecca. And that was Victor Sanders. Okay. Hmm. Very weird. I don't know. Uh, anyways, let's continue. This tarot card reading will find out. Yeah, okay, so put the victim dossier on the stand, shuffle the deck until his image shine with light. Thought I heard whisper. Start opening the cards one by one. Watch out for the death card, which is card 13. If you see, do not open further. Shuffle again and start from the beginning. Oh, oh no, okay, that was just a coincidence. We definitely gotta make sure we're listening for the whispering. So keep opening until you draw the justice card. Open the end member. Oh, yes. Thank God it's up here. Okay. Shush. Creepy bee, you're breathing. It's fine. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so we, we want to watch out for the death card. Death is bad. Open and memorize one final card after that. So after the, we draw the justice. Oh, okay. I'll be right back. Okay. Open and memorize one final card after that. Find out the meaning of Find out the meaning of the card um, and mark the connection between victim and the killer on the nearby list. So we'll basically we'll go through the tarot card meanings as we kind of draw those cards. I think that's the best way because that's a lot of reading. But I'll just like leave this here if you're, you know, curious. So anyways, um, let's try this. So what? What do you mean? Oh, there we go. Justice. There we go. We drew the justice. Okay. And then open and memorize one card after that. Here we go. The tower. All right. Um, that is right here. Tower 16. The murder is part of the family. <gasps> cool. Well, not cool. Shush mice. So it is not Alan Leary. Well, yeah, no. So, okay. No. Now, technically, he could be part of the family, but because he's a fiance. But I kind of feel like that's not the case. But we'll definitely we'll keep that in mind just in case. And I think, honestly, is that all we needed to do from this? Yeah, I think that's all we needed to figure out from that. Yeah, it's not even letting us draw any more cards, so we did it, which is nice. So back downstairs now we go. But we do have to make sure. We might end up having to come up here. Um, oh, right, it's that room. We'll probably end up having to come up here to to do the, like, the mirrors, right, at some point? Okay. Now what do we got to do? So we found out the, the connection between them. And we have to find out where he was at the hour of the murder. So we know it was Jacob or Selena, right? Oh. Is it this one here or is it upstairs? Okay, good. Oh, she was in the mirror again. That's creepy. I hate when that happens. Um, I think now we can divvy it down to what their appearances look like, right? Because Selena is blonde with brown eyes and Jacob is blonde with brown eyes. No, that doesn't help us at all. Um, maybe. Let's try it, right? No, okay. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think so. But that was a moment where I was like, you just, you don't really know. So we know, okay, here we go. She was a, 
number one Durnum. I'll close this because it's creepy. Um, and then we know it was either Selena. So wait, where where's Durnum? No, okay, she was not at Durnum. Oh, we don't even have the correct time or date or anything. Okay, back to we'll put Rebecca back on. Well, we need to find the hour. Uh oh, never mind. I remember now. We have to do the the wheel of Thanatos, right? I think. Is that what we have to do now? I believe so. Because this will give us the exact time of death. Okay, that is making way more sense now. Oh my gosh, I'm going to hopefully do this correct since I have a really bad track record of not doing this correct. Okay. Uh, no more spooks. I'm done with the spooks. Come on. Oh. Stop. You're obsessed with me. Oh my gosh. I didn't even have time to be scared for that one. <laughs> she did that to me one too many times. Uh, and by that, I mean she's done it to me once. But it was enough. Mm, back to the wheel. Okay. So, she is Rebecca Dean. Um, September... 24th 1887 so september september what is it 24 i'm reading this very carefully september 24 which is a libra september 23rd to 22nd she's a libra definitely a libra definitely i read that and i'm pretty sure oh the thing's red oh that's that's sneaky because i honestly didn't even realize <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is terrifying. Oh, now my cat's meowing. Oh, no, I got it. I, I did it. We're good. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. She was just laughing. Oh my gosh, the kitty cat really wants into my room, but she's too destructive, so she can't come in. Okay, Libra, September 24th. <laughs> All right, and Libra is what? That's a... Uh, what's Zodiac? Where is that? Where is that? Where is that? Libra. What? Libra, which is the line with the... Okay. Why am I not seeing Libra on here? Oh, it's right there. Okay. That's not what I thought Libra was. I thought... Oh gosh, it's doing this again. No, thank you. I think, I don't know, last time I was able to solve it by doing this. Shoot. Shoot. I don't know. I don't know how to honestly combat this. We're just going to wait here and hold it out. Maybe I shouldn't take my hands off my mouse and keyboard. Okay. We survived. We're good. I feel like I barely survived, but we did it. Okay. Anyways, I thought Libra's symbol was the scales, though, so that's weird. Oh, it is the scales. This dude's holding scales. Okay, I was I was correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just didn't realize there was a dude on it. So, and Libra is air. Mm, so the third shush dog. There's just, like weird graphical errors sometimes, but never mind. It's a re reflection of a fire that I'm s seeing. Okay, um, what did I say? Libra's air. So the third letter of the name, or the first of the name, has less than three letters. So, no, she's got way more than three. Third letter, which is B, which is two. So the first one is red, which is two. I just want to make sure. Yeah, first one's red. Second one is blue. Okay, yeah, it says that too. It's like lit up. It doesn't say it, but you know. If there are more than five letters in the surname, then the key letter of the surname is the fifth one. How many are one, two, three, four? Oh, oh, no, there's only four. If the, okay. If not, it's the last one. So N, which is, oh, whispering, whispering, whispering. 
She's freaking out somewhere. I don't care. I have no compassion for you, scary woman. Ugh. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, I can definitely only play this game in little chunks because, like, it's really scary. <laughs> you wouldn't think it just, like, playing, but honestly, it's terrifying. Um, okay. One, two, three. Okay, wait, wait, wait. What the... If the third third letter of the name is... Okay, wait. The third letter of the name, or the first if the name has less than three. Okay. B, right? So two. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just wanted to double check that the first one was correct. So it's the last one, because her last name is short. So N, which is five. So we've got the blue going to five. This should be correct. Okay, we're good. It's just green because it wants to point to the map. But like, oh, look at that. We pretty much have it. Oh, wow. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Uh, hour two. So it was a night murder. So um, that's 14. Hundred, right? Ooh, creepy. No, that doesn't make any sense, does it? No, I don't know. I think so. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Um, and then we've got day five. And we've got month, which is one. And year is, what is that? Uh, 18, 1904? Is that what we're Gosh. Come on. No spooks, please. No spooks. Don't you dare be here, lady. Is she doing a thing? Nope. We're good. Dang. Who knows? We're probably not good. <sighs> yeah, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Okay. Um, and then, is it 1904? I'm kind of blanking... Yeah, oh, this is the time of death. And her death was October 1904, yeah. We got it wrong. The month, what? How did we get it wrong? Oh, month is 10. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. There we go, we got the death. So it's Selena or it's Jacob. So I believe now we should be down to the last little bit. So, what was it again? It was hour uh, 14. Yeah, 1400. Um, October 5th. So, October, which is 10. The 5th, 1904. Yeah, 1904. Okay. She should be, where, where was it? Barnham. Oh! I was like, why are you not pointing? Why are you not? Oh God, are you upstairs? Uh-oh. Oh, oh gosh, that's bad if it's upstairs. Oh, it is. Oh my God, she's coming out. Yeah, we were too slow. We're gonna have to loop her. Okay, come here, lady. Shamble your way on over. Come on. Rush to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go. Oh god, she's quick. Now at least I'll get to... Oh, as soon as we cover the mirror, we're good. Okay, that's really good to know. Really, really good to know. Whew. That's, that's tough. Okay. So, Bedford, right? No, Barnhill Street. Which one though? Number six bar. Doing this again. Uh, I don't. Whoa. Oh, I was like, the door is gone. That weird. But no, I'm just. Uh... <laughs> I don't know. We're just gonna wait this one out. Hiding in this corner. I feel safe. I am safe. Oh gosh, okay. It's so scary. Ugh. Alright. 
think we're very close to finishing this one anyway. So barn hill there. Okay, now we just need to figure out which one of these. Okay, she's there. I think that was it, right? Yep, that was it. Which means it was the... Yeah, so it's the sister. So... Excuse me. I do not appreciate that. Jacob is innocent. Wow, look at that. Selena, what was her thing? She was so heartbroken. She adored her sister. And guess what? You have something in common. She's fond of fortune telling. You put a bad name in fortune telling. Tisk tisk. All right, let us get out of here. I'm so done with this one. Oh, I, do I have to mark her as a murderer? This episode went like very smooth hardly any errors which is so nice so we got selena for the dossier and then for the clues which clues well we have that she was okay what would the clues be send mark and send with a okay hour of the murder I guess I would do that one and that one. Oh, come on, please. Oh, no. I got that wrong. It must have been both the clues must have been um, that they were together at that time. No. I have just returned from a devastating conversation with the boss. Your letter didn't help us in any way. And now the father of the victim wants my blood. But we know it's her, though. We just have to get the right clue. That's super lame. All right, we'll get this. Okay, here is where I just realized I was doing wrong. I forgot to be putting that in here. So it's the tower card, which is number 16. And that means the murderer is part of the family. That's what I was doing wrong this whole time. No. All right, anyways, now that we have that, we can get out of here. I already did the Wheel of Thanatos. Um, yeah, so we'll just quickly pop downstairs and do do the um, the map. <laughs> so I, I this is my third time doing this because I don't read instructions, but you know what? It's fine. At least at least it doesn't randomize, which is kind of nice. But at the same time, a little bit of randomization is always kind of a fun, you know. Um, Anyway, we already know that Selena is the thing, like, or the murderer, but we do have to get, so they should be Barnhill, oh wait, no, oh right, we have to put in the stuff, but they should be in the, you know, same spot, obviously. So it was October um, 10th, or yeah, October 5th, 1904, so October 5th, oh, I'm, I heard that, I'm sneaky. Okay, um, October 5th, yeah, 1904 at 14. So there she is, and Selena, there she is. Okay, there we go. Let's go, 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 go. So we've got, for the dossier, Selena, for a clue, murder is part of the family, and that she was there at that time. Let's hope that these are the clues. There we go. We got this. Okay. I put a little pressure on her during the interrogation and she began to sing. I thought she did it out of jealousy, but there was something else. Only during the interrogation, blah, only during the interrogation, she mentioned where she had heard about the betrayal of her groom and her sister in a dream. The professor lost his second granddaughter. I personally came to arrest her, and yet he kept his word. During her university years, our grandma came up with an insane theory of what she called conscious transmission. This is the assumption that thoughts and feelings live in some kind of invisible field that can affect people. Judging by her last letters, in recent years she has come to the conclusion that even the thoughts of deceased people can, can Emit the residual waves. If I didn't know that your fortune telling works, I would consider these records to be absolute nonsense. Maybe the professor's granddaughter heard something from beyond. Oh, yeah, because she was um, like a fortune, like had some fortune telling abilities. Whoa, that's so interesting. All right. Is there more? There is. Holy, this is actually like a big, like early access 
part. But anyways, um, <laughs> this ended up trailing on a little longer than I expected it would just because I failed it like three times. But yeah, we're gonna leave it here. We're gonna do the next part in the next, uh, or the next day in the next part. <laughs> but if you enjoyed watching, feel free to like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I will see you in the next part. Peace.